I'm going to start a painting in a minute, and I wanted to just give you a quick tour of the studio and go over my colors. So on the computer screen, I have a picture that I got from Instagram that a friend of mine on Instagram allows me to use. And you can see I sort of drew it in a cropped fashion to make it a little bit more interesting. And then over here is my table with the setup. And uh, <clears throat> in the last video, I went over what each one of these things is, but I thought I would go over the colors today that I use. And you can see I squeeze out a pretty big pile of color. And I like to use less expensive oil paint and use a lot of oil paint. And I tend to use Winton's and Georgian. So I use soft mixing white, cadmium orange, and I use the hues, not the actual um, <laughs> pigments because they're, they're about half the price. These tubes are about $10 a, a tube. And I usually go through a half a tube for a painting. Cadmium red light, the hue. Scarlet Lake, the hue. Crimson Alizarin, or Alizarin Crimson. Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber. And in this uh, variety, I buy Utrecht sometimes. And I also use Lamp Black and Primary Blue. And I also have um, clients and friends send me tubes of color and paint and so I use whatever I have available, and I generally buy bulk oil paint. So next I'm going to show you how I mix these colors and mix flesh tones. <clears throat> flesh tones are basically a variety of an orange pink, and I will mix up three blobs of flesh tone going from dark to medium to light. And... I think that there are so many different formulas out there and people get way too uptight about it. I think value structure is more important. But in this instance, basically what I do is I take some of this cadmium red light and I mix it with cadmium orange, the hue, and I add a little bit of burnt sienna to that. And then I mix them together using plastering knives. And this is just a glass plate that I got at a thrift store. It was uh, part of a coffee table or something like that. And you can see it's almost like a brick red. It looks very similar to the color there. Now, with these three colors combined, I can add white to them to change the I guess the balance of the color. So for the dark variety, I'm just gonna add a little bit of white to it. Once the white goes into it, it makes it a little bit more opaque. And what I'm doing to mix it is just dragging it across the glass plate and mixing the color in with it. And I think for the darker variety, I'm gonna add a little bit more burnt sienna to it. And that gives me the first tier. Then the second tier of color is the medium. Adding a bunch of white to that. And I'll modulate these colors by adding scarlet and alizarin crimson and all kinds of um, grays and things like that into it, but I like to mix big blobs of body color that I can use as a base for the other colors that I mix as I'm making up uh, color varieties. Now I'm going to add a little bit of scarlet to that, scarlet lake, to give it more of a pink kind of feeling.
And now I have two blobs of, of sort of flesh tone color, the base coats. And now I'm taking the rest of that and I'm adding a lot of white. And I also, when I paint, the lightest areas get the thickest coats. little bit more scarlet to that to pink it up more white to it And now I've got a color, if you look at my hand, it's, it's not that far away in terms of that color. Um, everybody has different color flesh tone, and I always start with some sort of variety of a deep orange, a medium orange pink, and then a light pink for the, the highlights. But what I'll do when I paint the rest of the uh, figure is I'll add gray to this, I'll add gray and a lizard and crimson to that, sometimes even purples to some of these colors to get a nice variety of different non-local colors and flesh tones. And this is how I start my painting. <laughs>